Hi viewers, welcome once again to my channel, Israeli Mass Concept. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to find the median of an ungrouped data when it involves frequency. Remember in my previous video, I taught you how to find the median of a set of data that does not involve frequency. But in the course of this video, you shall learn how to find the median of a given set of data when it involves frequency. If this is your first time of viewing, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Israeli Math Concept, and as well hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new math content, you will be notified. All right, on the board, I have some examples I will solve, which is example one and two, on how to find the median of a given set of data when it involves frequency. To calculate for the median of a given set of data which involves frequency, the first thing you need to find is what we call your median class. Either you call it your median class or you call it your median column. And it has a formula which is giving us median class. Remember I said if you don't call it median class, you can call it median column. And median column is given by the formula summation of f all over 2. But this formula is used when your summation of frequency is even. But there is a second formula for finding your median class or column, which is given as median class or column, which is equal to summation of f plus 1 all over 2. But this formula is used when your summation of frequency is odd. Remember, when something is even, it simply means that that thing can be divided by 2 without remainder. And when something is odd, it simply means that you cannot divide that thing by 2 without having a remainder. So whenever you are asked to calculate the median of a given set of data which involves frequency, the first thing you need to find is your median class. And remember, either you call it your median class or you call it your median column. But we use the first formula when the summation of our frequency is even. Then we use this second formula when the summation of our frequency is an odd number. I want to begin with the first example. The first example says the table below shows the number of absenteeism during a term for a class of 30 students. We stop. So we are asked to find the median from the table. And actually this is the table in quotes. So we are asked to find the median of this given set of data contained in the table. How do we find the median? Very simple. The first thing first, find your summation of f. And remember your summation of f simply means to sum all the frequencies we have here. And summing the frequencies we have here will give us 14 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. So this is summation of our frequency. And automatically, the summation of our frequency will now give us 14 plus 5 will give us 19. 19 plus 4 will give us 23. 23 plus 3 will give us 26. And 26 plus 10 will give us 29. And 29 plus 1 will give us 30. Hence, the summation of our frequency is 30. That sounds very simple. Then the next thing we need to find is our median class or column. Remember, if you don't call it median class, you call it column. And to find our median class, there are two formulas involved. The first formula is used when the summation of our frequency is an even number. Why the second formula is used when the summation of our frequency is an odd number. And obviously, it's 30 an even number or an odd number. And the truth is that 30 is an even number because 30 can be divided by 2 without remainder. And when 30 is divided by 2, we have 15. So automatically, 30 can be divided by 2 without remainder. And because of that, 30 is an even number. Hence, we use the first formula to find our median class. And to find our median class, we use the formula summation of f all over 2. And this implies that our summation of f, we found it to be 30. So we put down 30 and divided by 2. 
and 30 divided by 2 will give us 15. So this 15 is not just an ordinary 15, but rather this 15 means what we call the 15th class. Then we come to our table and begin to sum up the frequencies to know when we get to the 15th class on the row of the frequency. So let's begin to add. We start from the first number, which is 14. And obviously, 14 is not up to 15. So we add 14 to 5. And adding 14 to 5 will be 19. And 19 is up to 15. So this is where our 15th class lies. So this is where our 15th class lies. And the number on top of this 15th class is 1. Hence, 1 is our median. We then say, therefore, our median is equal to 1. Having understood this first instance, let's also solve for the second example. The second question, we are asked to calculate for the median of the table below. This table contains a set of data which contains the first row for the number and the second row contains the frequency of this first row. All right, we are asked to find the median of this set of data in this table. How do we find the median? First thing first, let's sum up our frequency. And summing up our frequency simply means to add all the frequencies we have here. And adding up the frequencies we have here, we have 7 plus 21, 7 plus 21, plus 12, plus 10, plus 8, plus 1. And automatically, when we sum up the frequency, we have 7 plus 21 will give us 28, and 28 plus 12 will give us 40, and 40 plus 10 will give us 50, and 50 plus 8 will give us 58, and 58 plus 1 will give us 59. So the summation of our frequency is 59. Then the next question to ask is whether 59 is an odd number or an even number. And obviously 59 is an odd number. Why? Because 59 cannot be divided by 2 without remainder. Hence, we use the second formula to find our median class. And the second formula that will enable us to find our median class says that median class is equal to the summation of f plus 1 all over 2. And obviously, summation of the frequency, we got it to be 59. So we substitute it for 59, then plus 1, and that is all over 2. The help of this one in this formula is to convert this given summation of f to become an even number. And when we then sum 59 with 1, we have... 60 and 60 is now an even number that we divide it by 2. And obviously, 60 divided by 2, we have 30. So automatically, our median class is equal to 30. But median class will now help us to find the 30th class, the 30th class from this frequency table. Let's now begin to add up the frequency to know where we can find the 30th class. The first frequency we have is 7. But 7 is not up to 30. Then we add 7 to 21, which gives us 28. And yet, 28 is not up to 30. Then we add 28 to 12. And when we add 28 to 12, we have 40. And 40 is automatically up to 30. So our 30th class will lie around this third column. Remember, first column, second column, and third column. So our 30th class lies on this third column. And the number on top of this third column is our median. And the number on top of it is 7. Hence, we say that, therefore, our median is equal to 7. So basically, this is how to find the median of a given set of data which involves frequency. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time of viewing, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and as well hit the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new math content, you will be notified. Remember to share this video. Goodbye.